Hello friends, I'm Dr. T wishing you a great holiday season. Uh, today, in the spirit of the season, we are taking a hard look at uh, food of gods. And the link between this food and health has been recorded for more than 500 years. Uh, today, we're going to ask these questions. What is this food? Where does it come from? What types of this food do we have? And are all of them the same regarding the health benefits? Uh, let's get going. What is this food? Where does it come uh, uh, from? The etymologists uh, trace the origin of the word chocolate to the Aztec word chocolatli, which referred to a bitter drink brewed from the cacao beans. The Latin name for the cacao tree is Theobroma cacao, literally means food of the gods. The chocolate is made from the fruit of the cacao trees and which are native Central and South American and uh, West African as well. The fruits are called pods and inside the, each pod uh, there's about 40 cacao beans or seeds and these beans are inedible. They have to be fermented usually in wooden boxes and dried and then roasted. Uh, cacao has been consumed uh, uh, some form uh, for at least uh, uh, the Olmec civilization and the majority of Mesoamerican people, including the Maya and the Aztecs, made uh, chocolate beverages. The cocoa has been an important staple for centuries. It's been used as a currency and it played a very important role in these civilizations. It was a drink of the powerful and the nobles and was subsequently taken to Europe by the Spanish explorer and became very valuable in the old continent. How is chocolate made from the tree to a bar? It's a long process. Uh, chocolate is a part of a long refining process. It begins with the fruit of the cacao tree, the Theobroma cacao. It takes many steps, the cultivating the trees, harvesting the pods, removing the beans, uh, fermenting them and drying them. Uh, they are usually then shipped to the factories in bags of 60 kilograms. They are sorted and roasted and beans are cracked and grinded and refined and finally tempered and put it in molds in different shapes that you and I can buy at the grocery store or specialty stores. What are the different types of chocolates? Uh, are all chocolates the same regarding all the health benefits? Uh, Let's look at different types of uh, chocolates. Uh, let's look at raw cacao versus cocoa powder. The raw cacao is rich in flavonoids, antioxidants, and minerals, including potassium, magnesium, uh, calcium, iron, uh, uh, manganese, and others, and vitamins. The cocoa powder, on the other hand, is roasted at high temperatures, is pulverized, uh, partially defatted and loses antioxidants uh, and in addition sugar is often added. The cocoa powder is available in two forms, natural and Dutch processed. The Dutch processed means it was alkalinized so it's less bitter and darker in color but again uh, loses the flavonoids. What about white chocolate versus dark chocolate. Uh, dark chocolate contains uh, the chocolate liqueur and sugar and cocoa butter. Uh, the cocoa contains varies from 20% to 85 or even higher. Uh, the white chocolate on the other hand uh, gets its name from the cocoa butter but does not contain uh, the chocolate liqueur. Some even have uh, vegetable oils instead of the cocoa butter. So uh, by law, the white chocolate uh, should contain 20% of cocoa butter, 14% of milk, and up to 55% of sugar. In reality, the white chocolate is not really chocolate. It's a, it's a candy. There are no health benefits. What about candied coated chocolate? as the name implies, is really candied flavor with dark milk or white chocolate. They do not contain healthy ingredients found in the raw or uh, chocolate liqueur. It's really candy. What about milk chocolate? Milk chocolate is uh, milk uh, with 10% uh, of chocolate liqueur, 3% of butter fat and 12% uh, of uh, milk uh, solids. There is really no health benefit from it. In uh, summary, chocolate is not always chocolate. It is disguised candy. A lot of steps happen from the tree 
to a bar. And these processes have a lot of implications, the health benefits of dark, minimally processed uh, chocolate. Regrettably, we lose the flavonoids present in raw cacao during uh, this processing. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel, write a comment, ask a question. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of this month. I want to take this opportunity again to wish you and your family a great holiday season. And see you next video.